BBC Radio Cheryl is here. Uh, and we're we're testing you essentially. Mm-hmm. We're doing the lyrics game. Right. Loads of songs, as we know, that everybody knows the words to. But does Cheryl remember her back catalogue? Okay. Because okay. I imagine soon we'll all want a new Cheryl tour. So you're gonna have to start remembering these songs. Okay. okay? So we're all gonna right. go back to 2008. Fight for this love. Mm-hmm. As if that was 10 years ago, by the way. I know, it's terrifying. 2008. Yeah. I was 2009. Fight- Oh, was it? Yeah, I think so. Was, two th- uh, was um, Fight for This Love, the red outfit? Yeah. Uh, as if that was oh, 10 no. years ago. Crazy. That's nuts. Um, anyway, um, we're going to start you off easy. Surely you remember the lyrics to this. It spent two weeks at number one. Okay. Surely you remember the lyrics to this. All you can do is make the best of it now. Can't be afraid of the dark. Hey, come hey, on. Remix. That one's easy. All you can do is make the best of it now. Can't be afraid of the dark. Just that you're not in this thing alone. Sorry. Um, okay, next up, we're going to go to... 2009, same year, a vintage year. Now, we can't go through <laughs> your old lyrics without touching on some Girls Aloud tunes. Right. Okay, we've got some bangers. Um, I feel like everyone is familiar with Girls Aloud lyrics, okay? okay? We all know them. They're a favourite. We sing them. We go out. We hear them. You hear them on the radio. Do them at karaoke. Yeah. I've gone to a B-side. Oh. In particular, <gasps> one of your biggest top ten tunes, Can't Speak French, was actually Oh no, recorded. they say this is no. Well, in you, front. In yeah. French. Yeah. And you expect me to, to Why not? No the next French, line. French people buy your songs. French people are probably listening. You recorded it. But can you remember the lyrics to this? They're not words. Je parle français. Don't think of it like that. Mm. I've got not a not a clue in my head. No idea. No idea. Of course, it should have sounded like this. Wow. I mean, I should have remembered that. Really, shouldn't I? Know, I, I that don't easy. know. You could forget. Yeah. Can she remember the lyrics to this? I say I L O V E Y O U I'm so in a U girl. She said M E T O O. It's obvious I'm so into you, boy. It was those. You wanted to carry on past that? Yeah, carry on. Um, obvious I'm so into you, boy. It's really not the one when you're on the spot. I do know it. Yeah. Doesn't sound like you know it. I did say it was these three words. Incorrect. What? Yeah. It's more of the sentence, I think. Should have sounded like this. I say I L O U E. Why you so in you, girl? She said L E T O O. It's obvious I'm so into you, boy. So I don't we. I love this song. I love this song. Me and Clara were saying this the other day. We were into this tune. And I have really nice memories of recording it. Of this? Yeah. Where do you go and record stuff? Do you have like a Cheryl studio? No. Or do you go to like Will I Am? All studio? different ones. All different ones. This one I was in LA and he was telling the guy, he was actually directing the guy how to play the guitar and you was telling him to strum up and I'd never heard anyone play the guitar that way before. <laughs> I've never heard of a strum up. Strum up. There you go. There we go. Sounds great. Anyway, yeah, me and Clara were saying that the yeah, other day. It's good. Song, yeah. Good that song. I missed that one. Um, okay, final one this afternoon for you. Okay. Um, we're going to go way back now, 2002. Now, this is not your song, but this is where it all began. So we're going right back to Pop Stars, The Rivals. Iconic Sound TV Sound of the show. Underground? No. Please. No. Why? The song that thrust you into the limelight. Do you remember what your very first audition song was? No. You don't know? No. 
It's you, not a Girls Aloud song then. No, when you first went for your audition and you were like, do you know what? I feel like being a massive pop star in the nation, sweetheart. I don't so. remember what <laughs> exactly I sang, but I mm. remember them saying, it's pop stars the rivals, not R&B the rivals, so it's a pop song. Right. And I can't remember which one. Well, see if you can remember the lyrics from this. Jerry Halliwell, one of the judges, she described you as... Absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> but can you remember the lyrics to this? Have you ever felt that your heart was breaking? Looking down the road you should be taking. I should know because I loved and lost the day I let you go. Yeah! yeah. Have you ever felt your heart was breaking? Oh. Looking down the road you should be taking. I oh. should know. So no reckon. Because I loved and lost the day I let you okay, go. Okay, 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 okay. You can really hear me accent as well. Oh, I like that. That, that sound of that, that's not an old recording. That's actually Cheryl's heart there. Yes. <laughs> so nervous <laughs> and terrified. Did you think that when you went for that first audition, though, you were like, oh, I've got this, it's going to be me for the next uh, 15 not years? All. Did you not, not think at that? At all, no. What made you go for that audition? I think I... Uh, I was just at a stage in my life where it was like now or never. Uh-huh. And it was a new thing at the time. Yeah. Like, and I always wanted to be rather in a, because I wanted to be in TLC. Right. <laughs> I wanted to be in a group rather than be on They were own. like, we're full. And they were like, <laughs> we're full for now. Yeah. Try again next year. No, I'm <laughs> sure. Uh, yeah, so I knew I wanted to be in a group rather than on my own. And that was like the freshest approach to it at the time. Uh-huh. And do you remember like that day? How old were you when you went and did that? 18 when and I auditioned. Who went with you to the audition? Just went on by myself. You just went on your own. Yeah. It's mad that. Yeah. She's not been on her own ever since, has she? Nope. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> BBC. Radio. One.